CCTV from a packed nightclub. If we slow it down, look at the man who's highlighted. He twice raises his hand, spraying a liquid. Play it again and you can see the dance floor clearing, people covering their faces. I remember just hearing the sound, you know, when you open a Coke bottle, just like the hissing sound, and I can just remember steam coming off the floor and then my friend just grabbing me and I just remember looking up as quick as I could because the, the sound just shot me and I was like, what the hell is that? Like, it's like someone had let off with like a gas bomb or something because it's steam. And I can just remember people, you know, the dance floor that was packed was now, where well, I couldn't even see the middle of the dance floor, I can now see it just empty. Like, it was like the dominoes, like people just fell to the floor. Wearing a T-shirt that says, Candy Killer, this is the man who did it, 25-year-old Arthur Collins. He was the boyfriend of the Only Way Is Essex star, Fern McCann, and Collins was getting used to photo shoots and fame. But his last photo session was less glamorous. It was this police station mugshot. Collins had thrown acid over the packed dance floor at this nightclub over the Easter weekend. This was the scene just moments before people started fleeing the East London club. As soon as it happened, it was like your skin was on fire. And when it hit you, then the smell, because it was on my chest and my arm, it literally like flew up into my nose and my mouth. And I couldn't breathe because it was so strong. Emergency workers treated the injured outside the club. Collins claimed he didn't know the liquid was acid. His defence was that he'd been trying to stop some men spiking drinks with a date rape drug. When Collins realised it was actually acid, he said, I've never been so scared. He told the jury, I can't tell you how I felt. I can't tell you how upset I was that people got hurt that night. The jury didn't believe Collins and neither do his victims who want tougher sentences. From the moment that bottle was released, nothing normal makes that sound. Water doesn't make that sound coming out of the bottle. So from the moment that he threw that, he knew exactly what he was doing. Prosecutors say they're determined to tackle a growing trend. The CPS have noticed an increase in prosecutions for these, this type of offence and take them very seriously indeed. And the message I would like to give is that if you throw acid at people, if you use it as a weapon, you can expect to face really serious charges as a consequence. Fern McCann has recently given birth to their daughter, but Collins is now her ex-boyfriend and facing a prison term for a vicious act in a place where people just wanted to have fun. Simon Viger, 5 News.